Alrighty. So let's turn our game back on. There we go. Alrighty, let's get and jump back into the game. Hold up, we're not picking up anything here. Oops. There we go. Okay. So we were... Oh, you know what? Fucking shit, forgot to pop up my chat again. Anyways, um... So let's go back to the Crystalline Passage and do our thing. Right. So as far as doing the Anya quest, I might not do that because you really want to kind of keep that open. I think, because you want to have the ability to go back to uh, the Halls of Pain, the place, and uh, kill Pindleskin. It's always a thing, because Pindleskin has a uh, chance to drop a lot of good stuff. So as far as our quests go, uh, look for Anya under the Crystalline Passage. We actually have to find her. What I mean by doing that quest is not actually go and kill Nile Thak. What the fuck? Oh man, there's claw vipers in here. Wow, that sucks. Look at this. This is what I'm talking about. Like, why, Blizzard? Why? Why do you torment me so? And dark archers? Come on. up here. Or actually, I'm not sure what to call them, because they're not technically a boss. Oh, excuse me. This is either they actually dropped a full rejuvi potion. So the evil urns will turn a regular monster into a good monster. Or it'll spawn monsters like that. <laughs> you gotta be careful with that. You know, one second. You know what? I, I need to rearrange something here. Hold up. There we go. Okay, so now we're good. So what do we got over here? We got a whole lot of nothing. Some more gems. Yeah, these cave vipers suck. Although I will give credit, a credit to Blizzard that the monsters aren't uh, static like they used to be. It used to be all of Act 5 where the fucking burning, burning archers the burning, burning undead, and it sucked. It was them and somebody else. I see that you get a little bit more of a variety here. Okay, it's dropped a bunch of money, money, money. Full rejuve potion, and I'll take that healing potion too, because we're gonna use it right away. As far as the full rejuvenation potions, you know what? I might just say, fuck it. Straight up. I mean, strictly speaking, they're better than all the other potions, so why not? I mean, if I'm getting a whole bunch of them. Of course doing nothing in my inventory. They're doing everything in my belt. Because now I have actually access to them. So these frozen creepers kind of suck because all of my skeletal mages that are actually casting cold spells are doing dick to them. Superior battle sword. No, don't tell me I can't put it in my inventory. 
Let me see what it looks like. Oh, it's ethereal. Yeah. So the ether items are really good if you're putting it on your your henchmen, right? But I believe the only two henchmen that can actually use swords are the Act 3 and I th think the Act 5, the Barbarians. And since we're no, nowhere near ever going to be using those, because it wouldn't make sense, I'm not going to keep it. If anything, if I was going to make like a, a rune word sword for one of those two mercenaries, I would just I just do it with it, the character I was actually using it on instead of keeping it. I do have to say though, I mean, using an ethereal thing, you get all those bonuses. I mean, there is the incentive from that, but nah, nah. My people are holding up pretty well here. So right now we're looking for the one passageway, the frozen river. So I don't remember if that's actually just its own thing or if that's actually the way we're supposed to go to advance the rest of the act or not. I don't remember. I have to find that out. Oh, what the fuck? I thought I had another one. These frozen creeper guys, they just explode into ice cubes and melt. So unfortunately, I don't think I'm able to make skeletons from yep yeah so that's why I'm not having an abundance of corpses laying on the ground wah 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 so that's a good thing about these dark archers and the uh the cave vipers they give me something I can actually turn into something useful come on get in there there we go. Come on, go up. Take these guys out. Nice, there's the frozen river. Fabulous. And I believe there is a, a waypoint here. I should have probably taken a look at that. I think there is. Like I was saying before, I'm not sure if this is actually is the place we're supposed to go to advance the rest of the act, so we're going to spend our time actually investigating the rest of the territory to find out. Let's get our golem up in there. Come on, man, what are you doing? Here, I'm gonna pull our army a little bit back and hopefully some of those monsters have a chance to actually move up and not be bottlenecked. Like that fool. We're gonna die. Yeah, that's what we wanted. I think some of my regular skeleton warriors were just sitting there just getting blasted. Now I have to replace them. Maybe. <laughs> Might be a possibility at some point. There's an evil urn right here. Sure! Come on, give me some corpses! There we go. Perfect. Casim took a whole bunch of damage here, so Thanks. pop him a potion. I think we may end up having to go back to town so I can get rid of some of the stuff. I'm 
think I might be able to upgrade some of my sapphire gems. Or I should just say sapphires instead of sapphire gems. Grammatically speaking, anyways. Yeah, we're getting to that point where I'm going to have to come back to town here. In time. Alright, let's, uh... Respawn our army here, take care of all those monsters on the bridge. They're gonna come after us here. Now, what the fuck? I'm targeting them. Why are they not? There we are. I'm saying, I'm like, what the hell? I'm sitting there targeting them with uh, amp, amp damage, but it's just not, it's not sticking. Alright, let's go this way. I really hate getting bottlenecked. Very annoying. Yeah, my mages have taken a nosedive. It's the AI pathing, man. It's a thing. It sucks. Hey, look at them, they're all exploding. God damn it. You can run out of skeletons this way. Need to fight some more of these snow drifters. Hopefully they don't explode. Don't ah! Son of a bitch, he exploded. Of course, we owe that all to our good, good old buddy Kasim here, since he's got holy freeze, and he freezes the enemy, and they have a chance of actually exploding into ice cubes. Oh, get out of there! Nice. We've got a whole bunch of them over here. So we replenish. There's two. Nice, there we go. I guess I have another, whatchamacallit, evil urn here. So I might as well take advantage of that. Always, of course. Go forth, my minions. Nice, look at that. And a rare amulet. You know what, I am gonna actually go ahead and strip ID that. Look at that, that is fucking godly. Holy Jesus Christ, look at that shit. That's amazing. And I think it's it's one less percentage of magic find. But look at that shit. Ooh. Mine. Ha <laughs> And I know some of my mules, I love them up a little bit, so I think one of them could probably equip that. So it's not gonna go to complete waste, it's not like I'm gonna vendor that. I'm telling you, that's why we pick up things. I mean, you always want to pick up rare rings and rare amulets anyways. But, just to reinforce it, I'm telling you. Be shrewd with the picking up of your drops. So I mean, it's gotta be right around here. We just got the, the quest update. Might have to go into town first. Maybe. Oh, there's some bone mages over here. Interesting. Yeah. If it's not here, it's the crystalline passage. So uh, get up to the ancients. I'm a little, uh, a little spooked. To be very honest about taking on the ancients. My well, god, look at that. We're almost about ready to gain another level here. Fantastic. Okay, I had no idea where Anya is at. She's usually being held captured by a million of these snow drifter guys. Unfortunately, my army is just like everywhere. I'm trying to do that damage. Damn, that's a godly amulet. You know, if I had that thing, like, back in the day, like 15 years ago, I wonder how many SOJs that thing would have been worth. How many stones of Jordan. Very curious. So that's a dead end. 
thinking she's probably gonna be around here to the south. I swear, I think the way that the ancient is actually through the crystalline passage. <laughs> Didn't mean to melee him. Whoopsie! Nice. Some more gems. You guys quit fucking around over here. Come over here, damn it. Somebody's got holy freeze, because I just got frozen. I remember walking too close to these uh, frozen creepers to actually get it. I think it's gotta be this way. Dude, what are you guys fucking with? Come on, come over here. Oh, show. I'm thinking this is a definitely a good choice to actually equip those Natalias. It's making me move around a little bit faster. And that can be very beneficial, by the way. Make sure you get out of trouble, especially if you, you know, you go advance your position somewhere. And you actually accidentally walk a little too far, and then you accidentally start meleeing something you shouldn't have. You need to get the hell out of there, like, lickety-split. Yeah. Having some nice quick boots like that definitely improves your your livability your durability you know what I'm saying right what's what I'm looking for viability your chances of living is what I'm trying to say that's what I'm trying to English to you people that word whatever it is that I can't that's just not coming to my mind don't you just hate that I find that when you have a pretty good education and you've got an extensive vocabulary. But there's a lot of words, a lot of really good, juicy words that you can use in any particular situation that it just completely just floats away out of your mind. You have a complete brain fart. You have no idea what the hell you're trying to say. And just look like an asshole. It happens to me all the time, man. There we go, frozen sign. So we gotta be, I was right. She's down over this way. Hey, look at my skeletons there. Straight up, like, taking that shit. Yeah, yeah. Not being affected by this at all. Nice. Although, all my mages are back here, so it's not like they're... They're the ones that are getting blasted. Like usual. Talk to Mala. Shit. Okay, so we're gonna have to come back. Hero, Nilathak did this to me. If you've come to help me, my only hope lies with Mala. Please tell her you've. Yeah, yeah. Let's go to town. Talk to Mala. She'll give us our potion. Let's go talk to. Yes. Mr. Kane. What do you need? Okay. And let's take a look at our gems. Ah, so close. Damn. Son of a bitch. I need one more regular sapphire to upgrade it. And then I'll be able to make a perfect sapphire. And then I just need one more flawless emerald and I can do the same thing there in that front. Shit. Well, may have to take another quick detour to town here. I mean, we're going to have to do it anyways because I'm going to pick up this siege bow. Let's get Anya. Turn to Mala for your reward. She's going to give us her scroll or a potion or whatever the hell it is that actually increases all of our resistances permanently. Thank you so much for bringing Anya back to us. I have devised this spell to increase your resistances as a token of my thanks. I know it isn't much, but I hope you find it helpful. Please, go talk to Anya. 
She has urgent news concerning Nilethok. Was that it? Thank you so much for bringing on. So. Did. I Hello. Thought she gave us a. Let's take a look. Nope, we're maxed out. So I guess. It worked. Get rid of this garbage ass bow. Good afternoon. Good morning. You have proven yourself a true hero to me and my people. These are dark times, warrior. I hope you can bring an end to Bale's reign of destruction. Our council of elders is gone. My father asked among them. The one thing that keeps us from total despair is the promise of vengeance against Bale. Thank you, hero, for rescuing me. To show my personal gratitude, I give you this. I had it custom made for you by Larzik. I completely forgot about that. Fuck told me he struck a deal with Bale to protect Taraga. She gives you a rare item. The demon's mercy, the Specific to your class, by the way. Give Bale the relic of the ancients, our most holy totem. Doing so will allow Bale to enter Mount Ariat unchallenged by the ancients. I tried to stop Nilathak, but he imprisoned me in that icy tomb. Nilathak must be stopped before he dooms the whole world. As much as I would love to strangle the life out of him, I'm afraid I haven't the strength. You must go to his lair through this portal I've opened, kill him, and then bring back the relic of the ancients. Stop, Nilathak, from... Dr. Mala for your reward. Can we already do that? Okay, yeah, that's... Not good. Unless you were really desperate for resistances. Thank you so much for bringing Anya back to us. What are you talking about there? How may I be of help? Okay, so that, never mind. It was a scroll. I was right. So I'm pretty sure it's not through the frozen river. All right, so the, the halls of pain and that little portal that Anya opens up is its own thing. There is a waypoint down there, but I'll get that at some other point. I'm not really worried about that. What I am concerned with is actually going through to this gr glacial trail and i'm pretty sure that we have to go through the crystalline passage because i remember actually having to go through that pain the last time in normal we've already got most of the map opened up here so it's not going to be or it shouldn't be too difficult to actually find this thing but i'm fairly certain it's down here and rather than doing the anya nonsense right now i'd rather just Try to keep on keeping on. Oh. I think somebody asked me the other day about whether when I get to hell, and assuming I actually end up going through all of hell, and then I start doing like cow levels and stuff, if I'm going to actually start recording like my magic find sessions, that I think I will to a point I won't do them all because I'll say this it's like what if I was to say go through all of hell record all of it of course and then just one day I just feel like playing Diablo 2 and I also feel like it's not worth recording so I just do it on my own and we go through the cow level and I get down there and I find a cruel colossus blade of quickness off camera. That'd be devastating. Absolutely, positively should not work out like that. But then again, I don't think that every single one of my magic find... There we go, that's what I'm looking for. That every one of my magic find sessions should be recorded. Definitely not. Wait. This is the way we're supposed to go, right? I think so. I think it is. I know there's definitely a, a waypoint here. I'm pretty sure this is the way we're supposed to go. I think it is. Keep like 
second guessing myself because I just flat out don't remember. Oh, fuck. Pay a little bit more attention to what I'm doing rather than working my jaw muscles as a commentator. Now get in there, do that damage. About to gain another level here. Hit 59. I'm actually hoping to hit 60 before we take on the Ancients, to be very honest. There is a way to actually min-max when it comes to Ancients, because if you do the Ancients at certain levels, it's a guaranteed amount of experience. Actually, I take that back, or maybe I said that incorrectly. It's not a guaranteed amount of experience. I think it's a guaranteed amount of levels. Because I remember back in the day min-maxing it it's like if you were say like level 40 doing nightmare ancients i think like you ended up gaining like a max of like 12 levels or something like that so if you held back instead of like leveling up and you had somebody run you through the ancients i'm pretty sure the way it worked out was you could just instantly gain them i think don't quote me on that or no that's that is the way it worked definitely quote me on that but I don't remember what the levels were. That's what I'm trying to actually relay to you guys. And since we're going to be level 60 anyways, but when we hit it, it doesn't really... <laughs> really has no bearing on us. Okay, so... Since we're clearly going... And it's like kitty quarter, oblique fashion. Booyah! Uh, wait a minute. I think we're going back, aren't we? Because I think that was the actual way into this place. Wasn't it? Now I'm all, like, completely messed up here. I'm pretty sure that was the way in here. I guess I completely forgot to find the one waypoint hmm so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna continue on here in the crystalline passage and seeing if there's another way out of this place and if it's not then we're gonna go back down to the frozen river and explore down there because if there was anything else I wanted to do tonight before I, say, ended my stream or something like that, is actually just manage to get the waypoint from the next area. So that way we don't have to dick around with it later. Nice, we're getting another level. So we are going to have to pump one more skill point into Ray Skeleton to actually max it out. Oh, speaking of which. Oh, when to max out and get 10. Yeah. This is the problem with you actually using different kinds of potions in your potion slot is that you gotta fucking play potion Tetris. Because I don't want to have to use my full Rejuvi potions unnecessarily. I think my golem is about to get crushed here. we have okay so I think the max is 12 for full stack pretty sure it is I'm pretty high in my inventory again 
Yipper skippers. Oh, 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 oh. There it is. I was right. And from the glacial tra trail, that's where you find your way up. So there is a waypoint down here. We're going to look for it. I'm going to go as far as I think my goal is to get out of the caves, at least tonight. That's what I plan on doing. We'll see how I'm feeling afterwards, whether or not I want to continue with this evening's festivities. So there's a possibility I, I may. I do have to get up at the ass crack of dawn tomorrow morning because I've got some appointments that I have to take care of on a Saturday, of course, because I've got the worst luck in the world. But it ain't no thing. I'm in no rush. I mean, I'm in a rush to actually get a crew of Colossus Blade of Quickness, but <laughs> I'm being realistic about it. At least I think I am. Hey, look at my experience bar. Look at how fast it just fills up. Like, Christ. I should almost just do, like, cave runs here. I'm picking up a whole lot of these. So, whenever you open up the, the evil runes, or the evil urns like that, and, like, a bunch of the... What do you call them? Um, durial spider things come out. And it drops an item. That means that you don't actually get the the intended effect. Oh, fuck, my skeletons are getting... Oh, no. There we go. Oops. Unless I was wrong. You know, the last time we opened up one and a bunch of the the durial spider things popped out and I think it was an item. We didn't get a we didn't get a spawn. Oh son of a bitch. Fucking bone may just blend in with all of our other skeletons. You know what I think I should do sometime soon here is actually just go through my my mules and just start straight up start vendoring some of the dumb shit I've got on there. The problem is is that I've got like a whole bunch of other things on there that I don't really want to get rid of. Like I've got a full Saigon set plus a couple other Saigon pieces and unfortunately it's actually on a couple of characters. So actually, oh, I think I'm full up now. Pick up that ring. So I don't really want to get rid of like things like the Saigon set. Stay a while. But I know I have some some definite crap I can get rid of. I think, if I remember correctly, I'm pretty sure I do. It's not bad. Oh, that's right. That's my. My one Emmy. Don't want to get rid of that. It's going on somebody else. So far, 18% is the best that I have as far as a magic find percentage on an amulet. So I'm definitely not going to be vendoring that anytime soon. Although, you know, I mean... I could totally clear up my, my... My mules, right? Because I'm not really planning on playing this game outside of my necromancer here and a barbarian that's actually going to equip the the colossus blade assuming that I actually find one wow that is out fucking standing I know I've got a really shitty one here plus 7 to life so these resistance charms I'm thinking of, I should probably start getting rid of them I kind of don't want to do it yet I want to wait till we actually get into hell the other thing is, is that if I'm planning on doing a lot of magic finding in hell, you put on a lot of magic finding equipment and a lot of it sucks. It doesn't have any resistances at all. And then you just leave yourself open for death. So that's where the, the small charms with the resistances really come in handy. It's like, that's why I really hate to get rid of them. So I'm gonna hold off on that yet. I guess what I could do is maybe just start selling some of my gems. 
might do that instead of actually upgrading them because it is taking quite a bit of room in my inventory and I know that when we get into hell it's just either you're gonna get I don't you get perfect runes and you get flawless rune drops and it's like upgrading runes has, just kind of becomes pointless at that point in time and I think that's what I may end up doing that makes the most sense but I'll hold off on that for now because there's still the possibility of me actually you know, finding more like gems and actually upgrading them, like this sapphire here, because I know that's definitely needed. So I'll have another perfect sapphire as soon as I go back to town. Because <laughs> my inventory is getting fucking maxed out. Again. Keep saying I'm not a hoarder. <laughs> but all evidence to the contrary <laughs> is sitting right there. Find my way home. Because I'm a cheap tight fisted bastard and I don't feel like using a scroll of tel uh, town, town portal. Just using the waypoint instead. Because I'm just like that. Besides, I'm already looking for the waypoint anyway, so, you know, why the hell not? Don't do dick to me. It's all spells that they sling at you. Man, they just blend in. Because I keep thinking they're part of my entourage here. I'm sadly mistaken every single time. Here. Yeah, I think it's about that time. Says we'll be right here. Good to see you. Afternoon. Can we make some new gems? Let's do that. I, I just said that I wasn't going to, but now I'm pretty sure I'm going to. Let's make some gems here. Never want to do that, by the way. It's dangerous. Because you never know who's lurking around that's just going to grab your shite. Uh, you can go in there. You can totally go in there. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. All right, let's... Uh, you know what? Fuck it. Let's get rid of these lower gems. I'm just going to keep flawless gems. Unless I've got two of them, like those rubies up there. I'll keep those in my inventory. Because they totally make sense. So if I find one more, then, you know, obviously I can upgrade them. I think the skull is the same. So we'll do that. We'll just get rid of all this other... Actually, wouldn't make sense that I would do that to the sapphires when I just was talking about the rupees. Uh, I mean, the, the diamond. Sure. Fine. Yeah, okay. There we go. So I'm not fighting for space so desperately. All right, let's find our way up and find the next waypoint. I think that's a pretty reasonable play or reasonable goal to have at this point in time. Oh, it did actually spawn some guys. Interesting. There he is. Didn't drop anything. Oh. Well, Flawless Emerald. I'll take that. But the actual boss monster didn't drop anything. Is what I'm meaning to say. It's 
so far the glacial tr glacial trail has been pretty pleasingly straightforward here. Oh, this big winding mess like the <laughs> endurance of hate level two was. Don't care about the monsters right now. I want the way up. Port for four. Right up there. And these fucking claw vipers. Their attack just goes right through my bone armor. I'm not sure if it's an actual magical attack or what. So we're totally out of health potions here. We're straight up running on full rejuvies now. Something to be aware of. Look out for. Let's find a couple more actual health potions. Hopefully some super ones. Boom shakalaka. Deal with the gremlins. Not the gremlins! I hate them! God, they're such a pain in the ass. They're easy to take down, it's just they're a pain in the ass because they fucking teleport everywhere. This area was supposed to have these blood temperatures or not. I'm not sure if these things are native to the area. I don't remember. Let's just actually find the boundaries of this place. So far, it looks like it has a pretty interesting layout. I will take my money. Look at that. It's a blood letter. And we get some, let's see here. Do, 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 super healing. Super healing, please. Uh, oh. That, see, that's the other problem, too. For whatever reason... If you have your first potion here as a, like a mana potion, and you pick up a health potion when the rest of your slots are completely full, it'll just go straight in your inventory instead of your belt. So next time you pick up a mana potion, it'll go into the next slot. That's why you gotta play Tetris with it. I don't know what to do with the blood letter, because I already have one. Although I do have to say that, you know, playing a, whatchamacallit, a, a barbarian, when we, if and when we get our classes played, of course. You know, earlier on, having dual blood letters is pretty, pretty damn good. Now, when it comes to the actual barbarian build itself, I'm really not entirely certain what I want to do with that yet. Personally, I'm a fan of Frenzy, but I know like the the old classic build was the uh, Whirlwind. But not. I kind of don't really want to do that. It's not that Whirlwind is a bad skill, it's just... You know, I just like Frenzy better. Alright. We're gonna have to do a, a little bit of backtracking here. So I do want to make sure that we get the waypoint. And I'd really hate to go the entire length of this place and... have to uh, backtrack throughout most of the map because I failed to be a little bit more methodical like I am trying to be right now. Just heard an armor drop somewhere. Okay, so got our stairs here. And them sapphires are definitely dropping tonight. Yeah, I saw what I was look, really looking for here. It was the, the boundary of this, like, fort area. Which 
sucks because now we're gonna have to dick around with the the catapults. just be me man but it feels like we're actually pummeling our way through these barricade doors and all the rest of the debris a lot faster than we were in the beginning of this area or not this area but uh, the area after the bloody hills bloody foothills I forget what that place is called that place you know the one the thing the shits Nice poison charm. Oh, he's trying to keep those. I don't know why. I don't really plan on playing an Amazon. There's just like that really awesome Amazon build where you get Kleglaw's pincers, which are the gloves, and then you get Rip Hook, and then you stack as many poison charms as you possibly can get your hands on. It's really annoying. If you're playing like a normal character and you're dueling, people hate it because you, you stack all the slow and the poison damage. So it just rapes them. They can't move. They can barely move. <laughs> and then you just take poison damage up the ass. I loved doing that build back in the day. So I'm just like impulsively, or excuse me, compulsively picking up the, or keeping the, the, the poison charms just for that reason. And that reason alone. Even though I have no intention of doing it here. Besides, all my characters are hardcore characters anyway. It's not like I'm gonna go risk and duel with them. They'd be stupid as shit. Okay, catapult over here. Right. Come back up here in a moment. Nice to see that my skeletons are holding up here. It should be really nice to actually have them concentrate on the enemies I want them to concentrate on. So that I'm just actually attacking shit willy nilly like they normally do. Okay, so I knew our mages were getting pretty messed up there. We're, we're down one. There we go. We're good. Alright, we got a boss monster over here. Cause that's where our Mine. I can't pick up the great axe. No. Oh. Uh... God damn it. Alright, fine. Really didn't want to have to do this. Keep going back Hello. in town. Can I help you? So there's our blood letter. Get rid of you, get rid of you. Let's see if we can make some more sex jams. We totally can. Uh, okay, we'll put you there. And then I guess we'll just keep this other gem in here. See? See? That's what I'm talking about, baby. Upgrading them gems. Getting more slots in their inventory. It's just a wise de decision to do what I did. Sell all those lower tier runes. Uh, we're down a mage here. Let's go ahead and pick one of those up. We'll go up a little bit and start to work our way down because it looks like we're coming up on another little fort area. So we're going to work our way through all these sucky by and the gremlins and whatnot. See, the other thing that sucks about fighting these gremlins is that, I mean, especially with this build, because when they die, it's like, you know, I might have had a, one of my skeletons just 
kill one of these things like off screen somewhere and it could have potentially dropped something that I actually really wanted to keep and I wouldn't have known. Well, let's go back down, get the perimeter of this place. I love that little rattle noises that the, the skull and rocks actually make. It's funny. It's just amusing to me, I don't know why. It's just that stupid rattle noise it makes. Out fucking standing, there it is. And then we'll be on our way to the Ancients Way. Uh, you know what, we've been streaming now for about an hour and 40 minutes, minus the time that I spent in a short break. So which I think I was gone for about 10 minutes or so. So I think it's about that time of the night. I need to get up early. So why don't we do that? We uh go back to town, see what we got. Stay good? a while and listen. Evening. Nope. It's trash. All right. So this is where I call it. So uh, thank you very much for tuning in. It's been fun. Always enjoy my time playing Diablo 2. <sighs> We've only got a little bit more ways to go for Act 5. I'm not going to do the Anya quest. I may end up doing the Halls of the Pain just to actually get the, the waypoint. I might just do that by myself. Um, my inventory... <laughs> I mean, when you can see it for yourself, it's fucking full up. And I need to start moving a lot of this stuff around. And I need to figure out what I'm going to do with this superior halberd. I'm thinking probably a steel. I don't know. There's really not too many two socket melee weapon formulas. And even if there are some additional ones, I'm not sure if I actually have the runes for them, but I don't know. Anyways, till next time, people, thank you very much again for tuning in. It's been fun. So I will uh, see you guys when I see you guys, whenever I end up live streaming again. I'm not sure when that's going to be. I need to do some inventory management straight up to the hardcore. So I'll see you soon. Take care, have a good night, and have yourselves a good one. See you later.